Hello. So since I started my Instagram, I've gotten a bunch of questions on how I take my notes and how I do my titles and all of that. So three years later, I decided that it was finally time to make this video. Enjoy. My note taking system is pretty simple. I literally just use the bullet point method, if that's even a method, because it works for me. The way I take my notes doesn't have to work for you, um, but I just thought that it would be fun to show you how I take my notes and all of that. And I don't know, maybe it could help you some way and figure out your noting style or whatever. I know many people think that making your notes pretty is a waste of time, and it probably is, but making them look good and make them aesthetically pleasing helps me like actually want to study <laughs> and not suffer as much while I'm reviewing or studying for a test. Um, so yeah, let's start. I'm going to be using my history notes as a template kind of thing because they're like my most simple notes. If you want to see how I take my notes for my most like complex classes, like science and math, let me know because that's like a whole different method. My math notes are completely different to like my other notes. So yeah, let me know if you want to see that. But yeah, let's start with the supplies I use. To write my notes, I just use a mechanical pencil. The one I'm using right now is a 0.5 paper made pencil and I usually just buy any lead that's cheap but my favorite one that I've used so far is the paper made 12 HP 0.5 lead. Even though my notes are pretty simple, I do like making pretty titles so I use a variety of markers. Usually I just use my MyLiner highlighters and I actually don't use them to highlight that much. I think I have like three or four packs. Um, and my pet and I also usually use my pencil touch sign brush pen But now that I'm always in my house. I have access to all of my markers So what I use really depends on my mood sometimes I use my Crayola super tips and Also these Crayola brush pens. I rarely use my Tombow dual brush pens for notes Now you definitely don't need a lot of stationery to make pretty notes or good notes um, most of the stationery I have have been gifts because I am too broke to buy all of this. Um, you probably know me from the Amanda Richley video, so most of my stationery I got from her. Again, you do not need a huge stationery collection to make good notes. Before I had all of this stationery, um, when I was still in Peru, I literally only had like really old markers. Um, I didn't even have like the Crayola super tips. And my notes were still good and I still learned and that's the objective, you know, that's the purpose of your notes Okay, anyway, let's go back to the supplies I use I like to match um, pens and markers So if I make like a red title, I like to have a red pen to highlight a word or a definition or something For that I have some paper made Enjoy pens These are pretty good, they're pretty average They do like the ink does like skip a little, but you know, it's fine I also have some old brandless pens um, that I brought from Peru. They don't even have a name or anything. Um, they're gel pens. I also have a few Uniball Signo gel pens. And finally, I have a few Zebra Zerasa Clip 0.5 gel pens. These ones are so freaking good. The red one is so pretty. I love this one so much. That's all the supplies I use, basically. The paper I use, it, it, I will use literally any paper. Um, as long as it's lined. Right now I'm using this five star lined like paper that has this like sticker on the side. Okay, so now that we're done with the supplies, let's talk titles. Titles are like the most elaborate part of my notes. They're actually the only elaborate part of my notes. Titles are where make my notes look good and you know aesthetic or whatever. The titles I make go from calligraphy to cursive to literally just all caps. Um, so I'm just gonna show you some examples of the titles I use. Hello, this is Voice Over Me talking to you about titles. <laughs> um, basically, I have a bunch of different titles I like to make. So, yeah. Let's talk about click free with brush pens. I like to use my Pentel Touch Sign brush pen. This is probably the one I used the most before online school and quarantine and all of that. Um, I just find that this brush pen is literally perfect um i have no complaints about it i started doing calligraphy with this pen and honestly it's amazing it's great for beginners and it's just perfect it's not too hard too soft so you know it's just great sometimes i like to add shadows to the title um for this pen i literally just draw lines with my mechanical pencil 
um, I usually draw them like on the right of the letters because I don't know that's just easier for me and also I like to do calligraphy with my Crayola brush pens I don't use them very often but you know they're cute so um, these are dual tip and the like the bullet tip is usually like a different color and sometimes a lighter color so sometimes I like to make the shadows for the titles with a lighter with a lighter color um, and for the my liner brush pens I never like make shadows for those but you know I just do calligraphy with those if I'm trying to make bigger titles I will use the Crayola brush pens or the my liner brush pens because they have a, like a longer tip and if I'm trying to make a smaller title I'll use the pencil touch sign brush pen I also do calligraphy with the Crayola super tips I think it has a name I think it's Crayola Griffy <laughs> not sure if that's the actual word um, but yeah you know it's just calligraphy with these guys um, you basically just have to hold the marker a little bit higher and kind of like tip your hand sideways so that you have the ability to make thicker and thinner strokes but let me know if you want like a tutorial on calligraphy or something uh, i'm not an expert i definitely need to improve but you know i've been doing this for like three years so <laughs> i think i have some knowledge on it um i also use my my liners to make titles um uh, with my my liners i have like a bunch of different types of titles that i use sometimes i just do cursive um you know basic cursive sometimes i outline it like in a 3d way so i outline it and i add like a not it's not a shadow but like as if it were 3d as you're seeing right now or sometimes i just add like line shadows so i just go ahead with my mechanical pencil and i add lines to the letters <laughs> With my myliners, I also do all caps. Pretty basic, we all know how to do all caps. Um, sometimes, again, I outline them and make them like 3D. Sometimes I just like add line shadows. Pretty simple. Um, you can do this also with literally any other marker. Doesn't have to be a myliner. Um, I used to do this with my, I don't know if like, I don't know if a lot of people are familiar with this brand, but I used to use the Faber Castell, Faber Castell, I don't know how to say it in English, but that brand, like the cheapest markers they had, and I used those, and you know, that worked out too. You know, after the all caps, I also use all lowercase, again, I can do it outline in 3D, or just with line shadows. You know, I switch my titles um, around and it really depends on my mood. Um, you know, if I'm feeling like inspired enough to do click free or if I just want something like easy and fast, like doing all caps with my myliners. So yeah, that's basically it. Let's go back to the video. And though titles are the most complex part of my notes, they're just the beginning, so let's keep going. As I said before, I use bullet points. So usually how my notes go is I write a subtitle under the title, and I write in this like all caps spaced font. I don't know why, it's just what I do literally all the time. And sometimes I draw a box around it, that's usually when I use my my learners because you know they have like the double tip dual tip thing so i use like the like the fine tip to draw the boxes and then right below that i start writing my bullet points and information and all of that i think we all know how bullet points work but i try to make my sentences as short as possible try to not like copy down word for word what the teacher says or just copy information from the powerpoint i'm taking notes from um, and instead kind of interpret the information and understand it and then summarize it in my own words But you know emphasis on the try because sometimes I'm just too lazy and I just like copy whatever it says But still I try to make my sentences as short as possible and you know I try to write really fast. So for this I use a bunch of symbols 
For example, I use the equal sign to explain that something equals something else. Or instead of, I use like the plus sign. I, I use a lot of arrows to explain that something happened after another event and all of that. I even use the, the hashtag symbol to replace the word number or I sometimes use the non-equal sign to explain that something's different. Um, so yeah, I use a bunch of symbols. I mean, it, that, that really depends on how you want to use those symbols. I don't really have a key for the symbols I use. I just, you know, use them whenever I want. Sometimes I use them. Um, but, you know, I think it's a pretty effective way of writing fast. I also shorten a lot of words. Um, you know, my notes are for me. I don't really care if anyone else understands them. Um, so, I will literally shorten any word I want. I sometimes I shorten the word different to diff and a dog, you know, stuff like that. Or point to PT. You know, it, as long as I understand it, I think it's fine. <laughs> they are your notes. You can do whatever the hell you want with them. So, also, uh, a lot of people ask me how I make my notes neat and, you know, organize and whatever. And I think that the key to make your notes look like neat and organized is to keep your handwriting neat. Um, I think that as long as the letters are of the same size and around the same shape, you're gonna be good to go. My handwriting is pretty small and it's pretty like round. Um, so, you know, I try to keep all my letters round. Let me know if you want a video on how I improve my handwriting because believe me, my handwriting did not look like that. It was a complete mess before. It still kind of is, but you can't tell that much. So that's good. <laughs> anyway, besides bullet points, I like to draw. I don't actually draw bullet points. I actually draw dashes, but you know, you get what I mean. Um, so besides that, I like to use a bunch of arrows. I have my own hierarchy. So how it works is first I use little dashes, then arrows, the more arrows and how they vary like these arrows is sometimes I pull them from the top so like kind of in an L shape or just straight normal arrows um, usually the first arrow I pull is like in an L shape and then the next ones are just straight arrows I don't actually use like dots or anything else I just use dashes and arrows and as I said I also like highlighting words or sentences by writing them with a different color pen um, I don't actually hi highlight words anymore I'm, I don't know why it, it's very rarely that I actually use my highlighters to highlight a word not sure why because highlighting is way more effective than changing like switching your pens to write with a different color but you know I have time now okay I can do that I am at home you know, I just take notes from my PowerPoint, so I have time to like switch pens and all of that. And you know, probably highlighting is like way more effective, but I don't know, I'm weird, okay? I'm just... Basically, I highlight like terms or sometimes like sub subtitles. And I just like doing this for a pop of color, you know, to help me like identify some like keywords very fast if I'm like going over my notes and whatever. Um, so yeah, that's basically it. Um, as I said, my notes are very simple. Um, they're, I don't have this like very complex system for it. And you know, the most complicated part of my notes are the symbols I use and shortening the words, which is not complicated at all. I do want to try other like note taking methods. I will probably make a video about it because I've never like tried anything else besides this like bullet point method thing. Um, so yeah, I want to try like, the coronal method thingy or, you know, those other methods that you see on study tube and study RAM and all that. Um, so yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this video and it helped you, maybe, to find your own note-taking style. Um, but yeah, stay safe, take care of yourself, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye! I'll look around.